Life has never been easy for Ruth L. Frank. Born partially paralyzed 84 years ago, she struggled to find work, never learned to drive, and never had a lot of money. But she raised a family and took an active role in public affairs in her hometown of Brokaw, Wisconsin, living all her life in a house across from the paper mill. And she always cast her vote ever since her first election in 1948. Were you a Harry Truman fan? Yeah, I was a Harry Truman fan. For decades, Ruthell was a proud participant in American democracy, that is, until now. Last year, she took her baptismal certificate for identification and went to a state office to re-register to vote and was told, under Wisconsin's new law, she wasn't eligible. I handed her my baptizing certificate and she just threw it out it back at me and said, well, she says, this isn't legal, she said, how do I know you're not an illegal alien? And I thought, goodness, and like I said, I bit my lip because I was going to cry. Wisconsin's Republican-controlled legislature changed its election law last year to require voters to show valid state-issued photo identification. Wisconsin is just one of more than a dozen states that have enacted new voting restriction rules. A study by the nonpartisan Brennan Center for Justice at New York University estimates more than five million Americans could be affected by the changes. Keisha Gaskins is senior counsel for the center. We find within that group, disproportionately, the elderly, young people, people of color, and the disabled. The groups most affected by Republican legislature's new laws all tend to vote Democratic. Voter restriction advocates say the laws are needed to prevent fraud. But when the Brennan Center searched for evidence of actual voter impersonation... We found a uh, voter is more likely to be struck by lightning than they are to be a victim of voter impersonation. Ruthell never had a driver's license and didn't have an official birth certificate because she was born at home. A bureaucrat told her a corrected duplicate birth certificate would cost money. It could cost up to as much as they told us $200. Ruthell wouldn't pay, so she sued. I'm not fighting only for myself, I'm fighting for everybody else. As her case works its way through the system, Ruthell hopes there's a verdict by April. That's when Brokaw holds its local election, and she's running for re-election to the village council. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Brokaw, Wisconsin.